My name is Rachel and I'm an agronomist at K-State. Today we're in one of the test plots that we have here at the university to talk about growth stages in corn and why they matter to farmers. So if you think about yourself in school, we have different grades that we have to go through in school. And each of those grades are associated with something that you should learn. That's our development of our brains. Corn develops in the same way, but we measure that through things called growth stages. And just like you have elementary school, middle school, high school, corn has two separate phases of its development. Vegetative, which is like the plants you see in front of me, and reproductive, which would be these big tall plants here behind me. So at vegetative and reproductive stages, we're looking at different things to determine how developed that corn plant is. If we look at our vegetative plant down here, when we're staging vegetative plants, we're looking at the leaves. And you might look at this and think that you can see a lot of leaves. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves that I can see. But the problem is that we don't count all of these leaves. Some of these leaves are still twirled up together in what's called the whorl, and those leaves we don't count as fully developed yet. In order to count a leaf, we have to see what's called a collar, which is this region right here where the leaf meets the stem. So if we see a collar, if that's flipped out like your shirt collar, kind of like the one I'm wearing today, if you have a collar, that's what we would count. So if we go all the way to the bottom, the first leaf in corn has a collar and the end of that leaf is round and it's shaped like your thumb. So if you can find a leaf at the bottom that's round and shaped like your thumb, you know that you're at the bottom. So we would count one, two, three, four, five, six leaves with collars. This leaf doesn't have a collar yet, so we wouldn't count it. So this is a B6 plant. When we get to our stages like the ones behind me, we would start looking at the ears to determine how advanced that plant is. Now, why would a farmer care what stage their corn is in? Well, if we think about these stages, so the vegetative stages when the corn is still small, some important things for a farmer to know is um, if they need to spray for weeds. So if they have a weed problem, before the crop reaches stage V5, which would be five collared leaves, it's really important for the farmer to use herbicides to make sure there aren't any weeds that could compete with that crop to steal its light, its water, and its nutrients, because we're not gonna harvest anything from the weeds and that would be a waste. If we have corn that is between V5 and R1, which is when the silks start coming out of the ear, that is the point when the plant uses the most nitrogen. So some farmers will give the plant nitrogen when they plant it, and they'll give it some more around V5 so that the plant can use that really efficiently to make sure that we're using our nitrogen um, environmentally uh, well. If we look at our reproductive stages, some of the key things here are protecting our ears and protecting our leaves. So if we have insects that are trying to eat our kernels because they're delicious, just like you like to eat sweet corn, insects like to eat the corn too. The leaves we need to protect because they're our solar panels. They're collecting that light and turning it into sugar so that we can fill those ears. So we might use a fungicide to protect the leaves during reproductive stages. And we might use an insecticide to protect the ears during reproductive stages.